This conference will now be recorded. Yeah, so let me introduce myself. My name is Rajesh Kumar and I'll be your trainer for this course um, that is called Datadoc. So now, yeah, uh, I'll help you in any ways, whichever you need and get started. So I've started my career in 2005 and since then I've been working with uh, many organizations with various roles and responsibilities. So some of the organizations where I've worked in the past, which includes uh, uh, Accenture, Mindtree, uh, IBM Lab, Nest Technology, Adobe System, Infrared Service Now, GTA, and Kotokus. Some of the organization, some of the roles and responsibilities which I have played out, which include starting with the programming, then build and release, DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, CACD, Cloud Containers, Microservices, you know, all these technologies I have been working with. So yeah, I'll help you my, uh, my way and best way I could and get started. So before you, you, you get started into the session, uh, let's have a little bit, little bit of introduction from you as well. So I'll get into that. So Arpan, would you like to start with it? Uh, did yes, you say sir. Steven? Yes, Arpan. Yes, uh, so yeah, I am Arpan. I work as a SRE, a mm -hmm. site reliability engineer. Uh, yeah, so I, yeah, so I wanted to learn Datadog because it's very much in demand right now, and mostly uh, the tutorials are not available for Datadog or whatever are available are just like you know on their website, which are just like marketing. Somebody from marketing team may have written. It's not technical. I feel so. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to learn like some you know writing complex queries on for alerts and monitoring and all the use all the you know all the major use cases and all um uh, yeah so some yeah I, I, I have background in programming and then i moved to like more like cloud engineering sre roles later on yeah, uh, yeah so that's a little bit about me so i'm on the eastern time zone on uh, uh, yeah sure yeah. basha uh, hi are you able to hear me yes i can hear you Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, my name is Basha and uh, I'm a DevOps engineer. I work on AWS cloud and uh, uh, skill set. Uh, uh, mine is basically a DevOps engineer who manages different uh, uh, DevOps tool set. And uh, recently in my project, uh, Datadog and uh, Team City, these two are added actually. So hmm. uh, these two are um, focusing focusing on these two things, uh, Team City and uh, Datadog. Cool. Stephen? Yeah, uh, my name is uh, Steven. Uh, so I'm a, you know, database administration manager, stroke database admin for a different company too. So basically, you know, I'm in here trying to learn uh, Datadog because Datadog is heavily used in our environment. So, you know, just just wanted to learn the ins and outs and you know be able to do. Um, you know, complex queries from there and, and be able to set up monitoring in a more advanced way. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Okay, guys. So, so let's get started. So before you, you get started, I'm going to discuss about some of the stuff about uh, monitoring and observability. This we need to learn. So today I'll teach you the, the concept of observability. And then tomorrow onwards, we'll have a Purely data talk topics, you know. But in order to understand the data talk well, we need to understand observability well, actually. So that is something which we'll get into that. So some of the common mistake which we do, uh, we say, hey, our web statics, I mean, a web host are giving sufficient matrices. Like AWS, you go, you have a sufficient matrices for it. And you say, hey, you don't need uh, any sort of more monitoring solutions for it. Some of the Biggest mistake is which you may perform is saying that hey, our software is generating a lot of uh, revenue, and we don't need complicating monitoring, and we don't have time for it. We don't have time for it, and then this is an even bigger mistake which you which you perform. So suddenly we got the system failed, and see here before 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 system failure, everything was good. Like your web statics for the monitoring was good, application was good, everything was running fine. But suddenly there's some problems and which you don't know. 
system failed because of some reason you don't know maybe hacking has happened which has been tried from last many years if you did not see that is coming up okay now your system is down and you realize like yeah you did a mistake you need a help for it and you perform the mistake you did the mistake and then you need a help for it and we all get into the problem of this thing so what to do that is where we started doing the monitoring actually and so what is the monitoring so monitoring is systematic process of collecting analyzing and using information to track a program's progress towards a reaching its objective so basically monitoring everything you you are monitoring the machine data collecting lots of matrices analyzing it and using that information for for your use see that in see that if that any of the metric matrix values is uh, is beyond the threshold uh, by the way I, 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 I just had a quick question um i don't mean to interrupt you here are, are we going to get a video of this lesson a yeah, copy of this video yeah yeah everything will be recorded and the sessions will be shared in the elements the access okay. will be granted by patrick in some time yeah thank you and how long is today's class or in general the class length uh, uh, i don't know we can discuss this one or maybe at the end of this session today one hour and i had oh. a plan for uh, i proposed one plan like if you guys are available I'm two hours for every, yeah yeah two uh, hours three hours day. will be fine yeah we can go for it in fact uh, the next week i'm available if you want to continue the session in weekdays also i can help you with that and complete this course soon yeah okay yeah so we can discuss at the end of this discussion and then we'll plan together i'm i'm flexible so we can do that okay so yeah monitoring so now why monitoring is important more or less we understand that uh, we want to analyze the long term trends we want to compare from the last data we want to have alerting uh, we want to be informed about something which is beyond the threshold breach the threshold and all we want to have a dashboard and we want to do the troubleshooting okay so these are the some of the reasons which we do monitoring now next thing is like when you decide for setting up the monitoring what to monitor you should know how to monitor you should know who will collect the data from the different different sources you should know and want to monitor so these are the plan actually you make it during the monitoring plan you can call it during the implementing the monitor so these are some of the things what to monitor and process application check system level check like cpu ram api level check like ms flow check so these are the things which is what to monitor okay you want to monitor availability performance data validation security monitoring and integration and so on now flow of monitoring when you want to implement the monitoring then what to do so typically you collect the information share the information review the meetings implement changes review indicators to monitor so these are the things we do that now if you want to set up a continuous monitoring again you define what to monitor establish implement Analyze report response review and update. This is called continuous monitoring. Okay, there are certain benefits also, which I'm not going to stress too much here. But yeah, we have certain benefits also. But the main question start from here. More or less, the moment you say monitoring, we understand that. But if you look at this today's world, monitoring is very hard actually. Monitoring is very hard. Okay, monitoring is very hard. Now the question is why so first of all there are a hell lot of sources for monitoring where you run applications so look at this this is a very wonderful sites here we have and this is a micro microservices based architecture so here you have a one user where the response time for the user is 300 milliseconds i think he is happy about it and the same user, I'm a different user for the same system, you have a response time 1.5 seconds. And she's sad about it. Now, what is your job? So you're learning data dog, right? And your job is to find out why this is 1.5 seconds. 
okay so if you in a data dog if you someone say what is your responsibility so your responsibility is to find out the problems in the entire system now the problem is where in the devices load balancer dns server database server app server web services third party libraries where is the problem actually that you need to find out okay that is you need to find out so these are the types of monitoring which we have okay uh, so any question vasha uh, no no questions actually there was some disturbance uh, from my side yeah yeah no question yeah yeah so there are two types of monitoring we see white box monitoring and black box monitoring okay so right now at a high level just you understand what is a uh, white box monitoring and white black box monitoring so white box monitoring is the monitoring of application running on a server and monitoring based on the metrics exposed by the internal of the system including logs interface like the jvm and stuff like that but here black box monitoring is basically referred to the monitoring of servers with a focus on areas such as disk space cpu uses memory uses load 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 average and such like testing external visible behavior as a user would see it. so these are the what most of the most in the industry would deem as a standard system matrix for monitoring see here so here you are monitoring ping and http request that's called black box monitoring and here you are monitoring error totals from apache number of request total number of request latency and such like that processing time so this is called white box monitor okay in offline you can study a little bit more white box and all. so list of white box monitoring tools is prometheus Jarvis, Neuralink, i've done this and Anatos. list of black box monitoring tool is medios datadog statistic and Dynatrace. so datadog is coming into the black box monitoring okay so now you understand what is monitoring some of the benefits of monitoring some of the process of monitoring some of the some of the things about the black box monitoring white box monitoring but how to implement the monitoring so for the implementing the monitoring these are the phases which you have you have to measure you have to collect the matrices you have to store it somewhere you have to analyze it alert it and then visualize these are the phases of one okay so this is something this discussion is something called symptom versus causes okay so this i'll just ignore it for some time because i just want to get into the some topics which is here this yeah okay so this is the monitoring ladder when you want to implement the monitoring you have to start with some of the process which is pro activity automation learning analysis aggregation collections availability and ignorance now this is a some of the practices which you follow and this thing we will come back in some time because i don't want to spend time here right now just i'm giving you the high level information to get going and this is where this is the most important one which i want to focus on so why was I skipping the monitoring because most of the time uh, we know that monitor all of you know that monitor you've been hearing this keyword monitoring from last 20 30 years we know that how to monitor what to get it when to get it where or what to set as a threshold for alerting and dashboarding and also but nowadays we are not talking about the monitoring actually we are talking about observability okay we are talking about observability now the question is what is observability so what is the difference between monitoring and observability so monitoring is the most basic component in their reliability pyramid see why you are monitoring first of all you want to monitor the whole things application infrastructure or whatever it is so the system should be reliable or if it is pro it has a problem you can fix it as soon as possible so if if i read it correctly monitoring is a basic component in the reliable pyramid uh, pyramid 
So what exactly all other components which you have in the uh, reliability pyramid? So here, if you see, you have a product, then development, capacity planning, then testing approach, then postmortem, incident response, and monitoring. So it's one of the basic component here. So nowadays, monitoring is dead. Yes, you heard it right. Monitoring is dead. Nowadays, we don't talk about the monitoring. So what we are talking about? So we are talking about observability. So when you use the data dog, and if you're saying, hey, I want to monitor using data dog, that means you are in the ages old, actually, 10 years in fact. So if you say, hey, I want to use data dog to set up observability, that is the right word, actually. So you, have, you may have a question in your mind, what is observability? So here, monitoring tells you whether the system is working or not. But observability let you ask why is not working. Okay, so monitoring anything will tell you the system is working or not. But observability is a process in which it will let you ask why is not working, what is the reason for it, how can I fix it? So observability means assembling all fragments from logs, monitoring tools, and organize them in a such a way which gives actionable knowledge of the whole environment and inside. This is observability. So, once upon a time there was a monitoring, but now observability is a superset of monitoring. Mind it, observability is a superset of monitoring. It provides not only high level overviews of the system health, but also highly granular insight into the implicit failure mode of the system. In addition, an observable system furnishes ample context about its inner working. Remember, monitoring will not tell you inner working, but observability lets you get into the inner working. Inside the code, it will get you. Unlocking the ability to uncover deeper, deeper systematic issues and so on. So monitoring, on the other hand, is best suited to report the overall health of the system and to derive the alerts. So here, if you compare between this here, monitoring versus observ observability. So monitoring, you have alerting plus overview, observability, which is having alerting plus overview plus debugging plus profiling plus dependency analysis plus anticipating the future also predicting the future also so monitoring is a subset of observability okay in terms of if you want to see the efforts so observability will help you in terms of work co work collaboration with the testing efforts also so testing efforts also you have to if you want to implement the observability you have to work with that from the testing team till the monitor and many many of the best efforts simulation of the failure modes okay so monitoring system should address two questions if you we want to set up a monitoring it should address the two questions what's broken and why it is broken but observability cover the larger scope monitoring is mainly used in the terms of matrix monitoring so in summary observability is a property of a system and monitoring is an activity what we perform on the system if you look at the hierarchy here you see if you want to set up observability hierarchy then if you want the faster data then probably you want to gather tracing and logging okay if you want to the present data then matrices and if you want to get the data to predict so from the blocking tracing and matrices you'll have a lots of signals and states using that you can predict so past which you can diagnose present which you can see on dashboard and alert prediction which you can detect and take an actions so this is called observability hierarchy so at a high level observability gain understand actively or monitoring consume information passively observability ask the questions based on the hypothesis monitoring our question based on the dashboard 
observability built to tame dynamic environment while changing complexity this is important statement dynamic environment dynamic environment mein chhutti banne ta monitoring is built to maintain static environment like a vm fixed in fixed vm with a little variation observability preferred by developers of system with variability and unknown permutations whereas monitoring is used by developers of the system with little change and known permutations okay so observability observability will help you focus on the matrices tracing and logs monitoring help you focus on the availability performance and capacity so guys did you understand about the observability which we are trying to focus all of you yes yeah so nowadays every organization wants to set up observability not monitoring because monitoring something we this we've been doing from last 20 30 years okay so now the question is how do we do the observability so you need to collect four matrices four data in order to make the system observable that we call it telemetry action so what is a telemetry means so telemetry is the collections of measurement or other data at the remote point and their automatic transmission to receiving equipment for monitoring for example in a simple way i say telemetry is the matrix the data okay which you collect at the remote location so in the monitoring you do at the remote location observability you do the remote locations so these are the things which is telemetry actually matrix is a telemetry events log traces that means in a simple way if i say if you want to set up observability for your system you need to gather metrics you need to gather events you need to gather logs you need to gather traces okay you have to get melt if you are doing one of which let's say only metrics that's called monitoring but if you are doing four of which then you can do observability and then you can past present and future you can predict all this metrics you need to gather are you understanding all of you yes yes okay so three pillars of observability metrics traces and logs always remember whenever you go and use implement any system at least for the new operations you want to say observability you want to say monitoring but we call it observability nowadays you have to gather metrics you have to gather traces you have to gather traces you have to gather logs okay so traces means what is talk about the relationship between the events metrics means measure on measurement of the events and logs means human readable events in a simplified way if i tell you trace means the let's say you hit the facebook.com from your home now how much time it took to respond it that's the response time right traces that's called trace at a high level we'll get into the each and every topic and metrics means what metrics means like let's say if i ask you hey give me the linux metrics system metrics you'll tell me okay cpu ram disk network but if i ask you hey apache metrics you will say number of hits number of byte exchange and all stuff like that logs means logs system log application logs network log so you need to get this stuff so observability is equal to logging plus monitoring plus tracing plus visualization and then that is a goal okay so here if you see that differentiating factor monitoring in terms of availability it will help you to answer the question is my system available yes or no but observability let you know how long is my system up in terms of performance monitoring will tell you is my system healthy yes or no but observability let you ask the question answer give you the answer what is my system doing fault management when and where did it occur but observability let you know why did it occur recover is my system backed up whereas observability tell you would tell you what can i do to prevent the issues from recurring okay so i don't know how many of you understood the monitoring versus observability but we will do the observability so now if you want to make the uh, where your system observable you have to capture you have to system should, should produce 
for data, health check, matrices, log entries, and tracers, which I discussed earlier also. Okay, so if you ask some metrics, I think more or less you understand work metrics, these are the matrices, resource matrix, event matrix, okay, throughput, success rate, error, performance, these are the work metrics. Example, you can see Apache and all, request per second for Apache and all. Resource matrix means CPU, RAM, and also like utilization, saturation, and availability, CPU, disk memory, and all. Event matrix for the system events. And all. So these are the logs, more or less we understand. System log, application logs. These are the example of logs. Traces, I told you that when you hit the any website, you get the response time. That's your trace. We'll discuss in detail distributed trace and such like that. So some of the things I'm doing this. Okay, so now why this observability hard again? So we are growing actually. So earlier we were running the uh, the application in the physical server, then we migrated to virtual server, then we migrated to cloud, then we migrated to hybrid, means in on-prem cloud, and then now we are running application in containers. So our environment is changing. Our architecture of the software is also changing. Earlier we had a monolithic environment architecture, then SOA we got it, service SOA, and now we have Raikou services. Okay, so these are the changes which is happening rapidly. So we are going to monitor all these microservices. You see the relationship between this. It's not possible. So you have to make it observable system. Automatically, if the new services come, automatically you start getting the data and all kinds of things. So these are the things we have to do that. So now the question is, the question is, this is a good, a good slide actually. Do you want to know your application is available up? Do you want to know whether application is slow, performance? Do you want to know application is broken, reliability? Do you want to know network is up, slow or reliable, uh, broken? Uh, this is reliability, performance and reliability. Do you want to know your server is up, slow or broken? Do you want to know? And if you want to know, then there are multiple products which we have in the in the market, which includes Datadog, Neuralix, Punk, Elastic, Abdem, Tenetris, and Graph. So one of the tools which you are learning, that is, data dog so using the data dog you can set up observability and for setting up the observability you need a melt you need to gather metrics also you need to gather logs also you need to gather events also you need to gather the traces also and then on top of that after gathering all the metrics logs traces and this that and all after that based on that you can create alert and dashboard and predict the future also are you getting my points, all of you? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. So this is called observability. So next time, let's not start using called monitoring. Let's say, hey, we are trying to set up observability for our product, and we have to gather all this melt information from each and every system ser uh, services. System means your servers, virtual servers. Or physical or services means AWS, Azure, or Kubernetes service like that. Makes sense? And applications and all. Correct? Any questions so far? Any questions so far? So Datadog, uh, uh, the solution, is it a free solution or a paid solution, uh, Rajesh? Of course, it's a paid services, actually. There are few nodes, few basic services is free, which I'll talk about it. But if you want to use it for the your project, you have to pay for it. It's a paid solution. If you want to go for free solution, then you have to look for some other solution, which is uh, go for Grafana, go for Elastic. These are the probably you will you will get many comp some of the component free are paid, but most of the component is uh, free. Prometheus, you can go for it. Yeah. Okay, okay. Compared to Elastic Search and uh, these, uh, Datadog is powerful uh, because it's coming with some. Uh, 
premium uh, fee and all so is it uh, more powerful than uh, free solution see elastic uh, we should use the elastic not elastic search because elastic they have a multiple product one is okay. elastic search it is for storage so data dog is a cloud storage elastic is offering both storage cloud as well as premises okay and then which storage elastic search is a uh, storage actually and log stash kivana beats collection for for collections we use kl beats for processing we use log stash and for dashboarding and alerting and visualization we use kivana and on top of that they have a multiple product for apm also and uh, log monitoring also and log analysis and infrastructure also they have a tool for it. got it yeah yeah got it yeah okay so now let's talk about the data dog with that concept context so what is data dog so data dog is a cloud based monitoring services it was when the data dog introduced they started saying that hey you can monitor the flawless infrastructure monitoring cloud based monitoring and having a dashboard alerting and all stuff like that using that but over the period of time you know they migrated and started doing the log analysis also apm analysis also security analysis also many things they started doing which we need for the for the setting up the observability so you can say datadog is a platform for observability now this was founded in 2010 by Olivier, formal analysis. So this is the background. Why data log? Simple. I would not complicate too much of things. We you love data log. You see, in the market there are more than 15 solutions are there. If you get into the monitoring domain and observability domain, there are more solutions are there. Many of these are free. Many of these are paid. So so many solutions are there. So there's and if you start comparing between data log versus new relic or Splunk and all. This is a waste of time because all becomes so competitive. Let's say this month you have a Datadog has introduced one feature. Next month, New Relic will introduce that feature as well. So it's very competitive market actually. But the the things which matters a lot is Datadog provide the functionality what we need, but in easy to use manner. And if you want to set up the same thing which Datadog provide, it's difficult to build and maintain because you're writing. should be on the product not to uh, build and maintain the monitoring infrastructure correct all of you tools right hello yes that's correct that's correct so yes. this is the reason we pay use data dog so what functionality then you last me what functionality we have so one of the best functionality you have in data dog is agent the data dog agent is very powerful and very easy to use okay so it will not find i mean you find it but you have to little bit struggle for using purpose in terms of uses so yes data dog provide the functionality the agent what you need it it can gather the system matrix the api matrix integrate the, all the key software and use it and provide the standard interface to which our application can send the custom matrix and also data dog provide the functionality in terms of integration so the more than 500 integrations are available with a data dog data dog also provide you the way to collect the event streams also data dog will provide you the dashboard very well defined dashboard and then data dog also help you to set up alerts in easy way so all this functionality which you which you which you need it which which functionality what data dog has it which i need also i need a very easy to use very effective agent i need a integration lots of integrations so i can gather the matrix i need events i need dashboard i need even collection i need a dashboard and alerting and which the agent which is easy to use integration which is easy to use even this is easy to use dashboard and alerting also it should be easy to use that so that means data dog which provide the functionality that we need which is easy to use and uh, so which is hard to replicate 
So compared to other tools which you go for, it. that's the reason people love it. Oh, many people love uh, Apple. Why? Because ease of use. I mean, you you feel I mean reliable systems. You know, ease of use. The the all these things experience is very good, and you are ready for paying for that. Right? You can buy Android means thirty thousand rupees also, but you pay for one lakh rupees for iPhone because of experience, right? Correct, no? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So yes, data dog is everywhere. I told you, data dog is everywhere. You can help. You can use data dog to do application availability, performance reliability, network availability, performance reliability, and server availability, performance reliability. You can use anywhere. So what is the flow in the data dog? It's just a simple, flawless. You have an agent. You have to install it. And then after that, enable the integration, which you were the integration you want to gather that metrics, and then all the data you have published at the data dog website, and use the dashboard graphs and alerts to do that. That's all. Simple flow. Simple flow. Okay. So data dog is a hosted solution. That means server you can't install in your premises. You have you have in the cloud itself. Okay. And every data which is stored in the cloud. From your server, so that is one of the things which you must remember. So many organizations they say, "Hey, I don't want to store the data in the cloud." Then in that case, DataDog is not the right solution for you. Are you getting my points? A uh, cloud means uh, EC2 instance, uh, Rajesh, or uh, what exactly? No, cloud uh, means. Uh, I mean, back in there, there are EC2 instance only. But when I say cloud means DataDog cloud, which they you don't have a you know direct access to their physical oh, okay. I mean, okay 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 completely a, a platform software as a service as a product software, software as a service. service yeah software yes. as a service right yeah for example it's like a gmail is stored in the cloud okay okay so yes you just install the agent enable the integration get the data in your data and start exporting it so this is something which we have to understand so what are you going to do so yes Lots of integrations are available. These are the features of DataDog. Here is a 400 built-in integration, but actually it's a 500. I have not updated uh, this slide from last one year actually. So 500 built-in integrations. I should show you it. So DataDog HQ, and here. And we have somewhere integration. See here, 500 built-in integrations. Okay, so if you want to get started with the data dog, just register. It's a free. Anyone can register. You'll get the 30 days trial period to your registration, unlimited access to everything up to the 30 days. After that, they will inform you to continue with the paid services or such. So these are the product. When I say these are the products, it's only one product actually. These all are services you can say. Okay. So you see that infrastructure monitoring, log monitoring, APM traces the one which I was discussing, APM and security, digital experience, means UX, and some of the alerting, dashboard, and all everything. So this is a complete observable. I mean, you have a complete functionality to set up observability. Are you understanding all of it? Yes. See, this is the reason I'm, I left the monitoring keyword. Observability. They never said monitoring. See here. Here, there's a modern monitoring and security. And here they say observability. So monitoring is a deprecated keyword now. This reason they say modern monitoring. So take that. So yeah, this you can log in. You can see the all these capabilities and all whatever you have. Okay, so now this is the data dog. Now integrations, yep, I, I talked about it. More than 500 integrations are available. Whichever you name it, you have it. Real time interactive dashboard. So where you can correlate the matrix cases, logs, and more for collaborative analysis. Unified log management. See here, you have a matrix, real time matrices, cases, logs, and all dashboard. 
but here you have log management also monitor logs matrices and request and all here you have apm also the one which i showed you here network performance monitoring also simplified synthetic monitoring also ram also really good so all these areas i'll talk about it each each day we'll have a session so one day we'll have a session on the infra then log then apm then network then synthetic then ram one day each day in, except the infra infra will have a two session two day session but a real user monitoring and other monitoring will have one day sessions for each of us uh, alerting will have one sessions for it dashboarding will have one sessions for it okay so my bad i should 30 days right actually it's a 14 days itself getting more points all of you yeah clear rajesh yeah so it's a saas based software now i think if you read this this is again little bit outdated but more or less it will be same if you see the free you have a five node infra monitoring only free log apm network synthetic and ram which is paid okay see here ram is paid synthetic is paid network after 14 days i'm talking about apm logging log management and infrastructure all these are paid and then five node up to the free after that everything is paid again this is a charges per node basis and then storage for the logs and such like that so these are the detailed pricing i think probably right now is not time to get interested in the pricing but more or less uh, you may read offline also this pricing may change actually this is just for the knowledge purpose so infrastructure they are charging 18 dollars per month per per host so let's say if you have a 100 host you have to charge you have to pay uh, 18 is to 100 that means 1800 dollars you have to pay for infra monitoring per month right make sense And how do we get started? So you can register this account. It's a free of cost. Right now I'm not doing it because for each registration you need a unique email address, email ID. Which I have not created this time, so I'll create. I'll have to create it. Okay, so get started with so you can get it. While start while registering, please select uh, this one carefully. Uh, let's say you are starting right here. Yeah. This one you select carefully because here you are selecting whether your data should be stored so you, you want to store in the usa or europe so these are the data centers which you have so mindful these are the four five different data centers which you have while registration anyone can register without a credit card anymore. okay after that you have uh, this which you want to monitor step number two install the agent if you look at this agent which you can install the Mac agent, Windows, Debian, Ubuntu, Amazon, Linux, Red Hat, Suji, and all stuff like that. And that's all. So this is where you can start it. So in the most important part, the learning where the most important learning is agent. You have to most of the time either work with the agent configuration or the dashboard exploring the matrices and then alerting and such like that. So these are the primary work which you have in, in data doc. So that means you don't have to install server, backup, security, all this thing. You don't have to do that. Make sense, guys? All of you? All of you? Hello, I'm out of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, why, why agent is required actually? Because uh, uh, the server is pro getting provided by uh, as a software as a service. Then what is the purpose of agent? So here, let's say this is your data doc, okay? And uh, data doc which is hosted in the software service, and this is you, and you will log into this data doc website. So now that matrices should be coming from somewhere right these are the matrices so here this is your windows server this is your linux server and this is a aws account so from here windows server all the matrices will go here linux server also and then aws also so you can explore these matrices here 
and then after that you can create alerts and after that you can create a dashboard so this is a saas based software whereas you are monitoring this infrastructure this is your production server or whatever it is and this is you got it okay so there uh, the agent is actually connected with all the infrastructure and uh, data dog is uh, collecting the infrastructure uh, the uh, all the metrics from the agent using agent so here agent is installed here agent is installed here data dog agent different different types of agent which we have i'll talk about it so this agent will collect the gather the data send to the data dog data server the one same thing i was showing you here here these are the oh, data okay. centers okay okay so so agent is just like not like just nothing but a software which uh, gathering the statistics gathering the matrices yeah okay, okay. it is not a separate uh, a unix box or linux box required no, no, just a software no no okay yeah collector data collector ah okay got it got it more questions there i was actually comparing with the team city because in team city when we say agent it's a separate uh, kind of a machine where we install the agent ha huh. so team city is a ci tool that's a different use cases for it okay okay yes ci tool so where team city cannot do the build and new uh, testing so they outsource that work for build and testing to the their agent and they perform this build and testing and the results you can see on teams but here this mm -hmm. is a way to collect the data matters okay okay so let me stop the recording